Hey everybody! Today I have a just for fun, no line watercolor mixed media card video. And I'm going to talk you through some of the horrifying things that happen without me realizing it in this video while I do this watercolor with my very favorite watercolor pencils. These are the only watercolor pencils that I have ever used that I can blend without seeing the pencil marks after coloring directly on the paper with the pencils. Like that is just a unicorn thing, doesn't happen very often. So you can see how blendy and perfect that is just even after a quick blending with water. This image is mice drinking coffee, making their French press. There's nothing that all of us want more than a a mouse that is hopped up on caffeine, right? Because regular mice are so chill. So these mice are caffeinating, and I decided to make their little French press red. So I actually started with a yellow in the middle, sort of just using the yellow as my highlight instead of white. And things will go wrong shortly, so just be prepared for that. But I am also coloring the handle of the French press in the same way that. I'm coloring sort of the structure of it just so that it matches. And again, using the yellow as my highlight. Now, while you watch some of these horrifying things happen that are about to happen, I will walk you through how I built the background of this card and kind of what makes it a mixed media card. But here's where it gets really scary. So, right here, I just completely mistake this mouse's tail for part of the coffee pot, like a complete nincompoop. But I fix it later, so don't worry. Watercolor is a very forgiving medium. So let's just talk about the rest of the card. Now, for the rest of the card, I used three different colors of Distress Oxides that I used my Misty to be able to kind of mix those inks on the stamp. And I stamped, this is a large six by six background stamp, and I stamped them and then just cut out the middle portion of the background. So it has a, some cool greens, some warm greens, and then I splattered water on it and added gold embossing powder so that it sort of looks like a patinaed copper or tin tile with a little bit of metallic gold on it. And I really like the way it looks. It's really cute. And that's the backdrop for my little caffeinated mice. So I felt like it gave the ambiance that they were in a little cafe with like these beautiful little tiles. And they're making their French press. Why, if they're in a cafe, they're making their own French press and the barista isn't doing it for them. I have not thought that all the way through. That's not a process that I went through when I was designing the card. I only got as far as a couple of mice in a cafe. And then I probably saw something shiny or I was listening to a podcast or something. Here's what that looks like up close. Look how blendy these pencils are, y'all. Seriously, these are the best pencils. They're the best pencils. Usually I don't say something is the best something. These are the best. Look at that random red tail. Sorry, don't look at that. Overlook that while I color the rest of the mice, please. It's embarrassing. So I'm putting a little bit of gray and a little bit of pink. I'm giving them pink cheeks. I don't know why I do this with animals. It's just a thing that I do. And a little pink belly. And then I'm using a couple of different colors of gray. I want the coloring on the mice to be really subtle. I basically kind of want mostly the paper to show through and I just want like a little hint of gray. I don't want them to be dark gray mice because I feel like the most prominent thing is that cute little French press plus partial tail that's going to be fixed. And the mice could be more neutral and a little bit more subtle. Also, I have kind of a busy background for the rest of the card. And for that reason, I took the dies that match this image. So you can see it cuts out the whole thing, the French press and the mice. And I cut it again out of gray cardstock to create a drop shadow for the little mice, just to make them stand out on that tile background just a tiny bit more. 
But the whole thing has kind of a soft look, which is what I was going for both with the no line coloring and with the kind of variegated ink that is on the little tiles. So with the mice, it's easier just to keep it pretty light in the beginning. I can go back and add shading, which I do just to give them a little bit of dimension, but it's easier to start light and add some if you need to, instead of going in just a little bit too heavy. But I will say about these pencils that they are pretty forgiving. So in a couple of places, you'll see me put down a really dark little bit of gray. And I can just add water and immediately blend that out. You will also see on my horrifying tail mistake how easy it is to just lift even red, which is one of the trickiest colors to lift. Um, but you'll see how I lift that here in a little bit. It's still embarrassing me just sitting out there for all of y'all to see while I'm carrying on painting these mice like nothing's going on. Took me this long to notice it. Oh my gosh, there I go. Fixing it with a magic eraser and a little bit of water. And it pulls that color right out of there and just makes it like it never happened. It's fine. I can paint over it with gray. And I could have just cut this whole thing out, but you know that's not how I roll. All my mistakes stay in so that you can learn from them and realize that this is the mouse's tail and it's not part of the coffee pot, even though it looks like it. Like, I feel like I deserve some vindication because it sort of looks like a curly handle, right? It's not just me. Please tell me it's not just me in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Also, like, subscribe, and share this video. I never say that. I don't know why, but I'm saying it now. Subscribe to this channel where you can see me make hilarious and embarrassing mistakes over and over again. Now, this brush happens to be small enough that I can just paint back in the details of his little whiskers and the little bottoms of his whiskers and his eyes, his nose. And on the top mouse, he has like a little smile. It's so cute. So I painted that back in as well. So this is actually a number four brush. It's not the smallest brush that I own, but it gets the job done. So here is your little mousy coffee mixed media card. Head over to my blog for more information and possibly, if I get enough sleep, a recipe. Thanks so much for watching.